Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm kind of changing the format of how I'm filming because I'm standing up, because I changed space, long story, whatever. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about another wonderful part of Tumblr called the God Spouse community. And it isn't bad, like we have covered really bad things like zoophiles. So this is just weird. Um, and I think a little bit delusional, honestly, but let's just get into it. Okay, so here someone said, what are God spouses? And the person replied, I'm not very knowledgeable about the subject, so I'm just going to quote my conversation with this person. So a God spouse is basically someone who marries a deity. It's actually a very individual thing, different from spouse to spouse, even among spouses of the same deity. In my case, I'm married to two unrecorded gods, gods who have no written lore, who are also romantically involved with each other. Let me think. There's a lot of assumptions about what God spousing is or is not. It's not automatically a serious business role, though it can be. I know spouses who are also priests for their gods or who do some type of work for their divine spouse. In my case, all my husband asks is that I love them. All my husbands ask is that I love them, keep a shrine to them, and basically be their home and emotional support. Like to me, it's more of a long distance relationship, though again, it's different from relationship to relationship. Okay, okay, so one day you wake up and you say, you know what, I'm tired of dating and being married or whatever the fuck with humans, so I'm gonna go to another realm, a realm that there's no proof that exists gods that have no actual proof of existence and I'm gonna pick one of them who I'm gonna court how 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 does this this is giving me a headache I mean I don't understand how you can this sounds like a tulpa kind of thing but on crack because it's you you you're so self-important that you think that a god if a god even exists would give a shit about you enough to be like hey I'm really interested in you, and I have all the power in the world, but I'm gonna pick you and be in a romantic relationship with you. You know what we were saying with tulpas was that it was kind of dangerous because it could almost, like if you try so hard to do something, it's almost like you're trying to develop some kind of mental illness because here, it's like you're gonna be talking to yourself or in your head or out loud, but still to something that is not there. I don't think that can be very healthy for someone. Okay, so first we have a relatable comment. Someone said, what the actual fuck is a god spouse? Do I even want to know? Same. So here there is a question and it asks, how do you know if you are a god spouse or not? And the person replied, the same way you know if you're married or not, if you got married to a god, a goddess, then you're a god spouse. I would imagine participating in some sort of marriage thing would be something you remembered. Knowing you're being courted by a god is different. Just look around and ask yourself, whoa, wait, hold up a second. Do we like each other? Like, like, like each other? Are we dating? What is going on? And there's more, but it isn't really relevant. And, you know, I just had another moment where I thought I was in the twilight zone and I was like, well, what the fuck? How, how do you marry a god? Okay, so let's already get a definition out of the way. Okay, so a god is an entity, right? Not a person. So if it's an entity, something you cannot see, how can you marry something you cannot see and cannot actually communicate with in any proven way? Uh, yeah. So if you were to do... So if you were to get married to a god or a goddess, this person is saying, that you'd participate in some sort of marriage thing. So I could get married to a god right now and be like, okay, here's my spouse, This I'm a god spouse now, here is my god, wife, husband, whatever. What? Let's just move on. Here we have another ask and it has no answer, but it was an interesting ask. If a god spouse asks you to stop posting devotions to her husband, you need to cut it out. You wouldn't post love letters to another person's human spouse, would you? So this is interesting because even within 
the realm of entities, there is still drama. Drama transcends being human. So just so you know, when we all die and fucking go to wherever the hell we have to go, there's still gonna be shit there too. There's still gonna be drama. That's great to know. Okay, so the god spouse is married to a god and someone is posting Lo devotions, which I'm assuming are like love letters, to that person's spouse was a god, then she has to stop it because that's not okay. What about stopping doing all of this? Like why, why not stop pretending that we can uh, talk to, to gods and that you're married to a god? I mean, I'm all for trying to be open-minded about religion and stuff like that, but this shit is way too far. This is not just saying, hey, I believe in God, and I'm gonna be like, okay, good for you. But here it's like a step further. Someone says, God spouses are not real. If you think you're in a relationship with a God and you're being manipulated by an entity, please take caution. So this was, you know, it began well, because I was like, okay, so there's someone here who has their feet on the ground, and then it just, totally went in the opposite direction and it goes into like being manipulated by an entity like what a demon like ugh. I don't want it no this is this is too much next okay so someone said I had a chat to a consort of the deities and it made me think really hard about the way Sobek and I interact sometimes and I'm not sure how to feel and if he's making advances to me how do you even explain this to someone I think my god is hitting on me, shaking my fucking head. Well, see, this is the thing. How do you- you shouldn't explain this to anyone because this shouldn't really exist, honestly, I think. Because it's not real. And if you wanna- if you wanna partake in- in all these imaginary things, there's no problem with you being, you know, weird and partaking in these imaginary things, but do not try to make it sound like this is totally legitimate, for sure, proven, and can't be debunked. Because that's the thing that I feel comes from these kinds of, like, uh, attitudes in these posts, being like, how do you explain this to someone? Acting like everyone else should just know. God spouses with human lovers, where are you at? So, see, sometimes Tumblr makes my points for me, because like I was saying, if you want to be weird and do your little imaginary world with your imaginary boyfriend and god, whatever, that's fine. But don't try and make it sound like it's a real legitimate thing, because it's not a real legitimate thing. See? Here, this person has a human lover. I wonder why. Hmm, maybe because the other one is non-existent, or a figment of your imagination. And this just proves how illegitimate I guess this is because it's like if you are a god spouse and you are married to a god and it's so legitimate and it's like a real marriage and I should take it seriously then but what are you doing with a human lover because legitimate marriages in real life shouldn't have anyone outside the marriage there should be no lover either so so someone here asked you can have sex with a god and then the person answered, it can happen. However, given that there are lots of mi minors following this blog, we won't go into the hows of the matter, but perhaps some of our followers who have such a relationship with a deity would be willing to share their experiences. House, this is God. Look, I'm a little busy right now. I'm supposed to talk during these things. Got time Thursday? So, look. This... No. I'm done. Okay, I'm not done because I still have to cover this post, but seriously, come on, like... Unless you have a dildo that you have labeled God, you cannot have sex with a God, okay? It's just not gonna happen, and... The whole idea of a God is to worship them, so even the idea of having sex with a God, to me, seems very strange. But maybe that's because I was raised Catholic, so we were always, you know, like, praise the Lord, and we were supposed to see him as, like, fatherly rather than, hey, I don't want to bang that God kind of God, but that's a weird facet of this that I hadn't really thought of.
Okay, so the last post I found says, anyone else notice that about 95% of people claiming to be god spouses say they're married to either Thor or Loki? Exactly. I didn't share a lot of the posts that had specific names of gods in them because there was no real point to it, but so many of them were saying Thor or Loki and I was like, oh, how, how interesting that it's like ones that have been in Marvel movies and that are conventionally attractive in those movies, so... I don't know, that made it seem even weirder to me, but I digress. So before anyone tries to tell me that I'm like shaming, I'm just saying it's weird, okay? It's fine, I'm not saying you can't do it, no one's stopping you, but it's weird. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about all of this. Thank you for watching, thank you to my patrons as always. Now let's get into the fan art.